Mm -mm -mm, it's gonna be good. Hey guys, I'm Devin with Reef Dudes, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys the much awaited update on the ozone generator as well as installing an air dryer. Mm, so good. But I guess we should get to reefing. But first, I wanna give a quick shout out to Ari Did That. Thank you, brother, for hitting that bell and joining the notification squad. And if you guys want your own shout out, hit that bell and let me know in the comments below. Now a bit of full disclosure, I actually already installed this and shot this video the other day, but I realized my microphone wasn't hooked up properly and my art audio is just garbage, I could not bring myself to publish it. So I'm reshooting it today. Had to get the day started right with a little coffee, a delicious omelet. So what I picked up is A2Z Ozone. It was only about 20 bucks off Amazon, so it was super cheap. It came with this color changing resin and the barb filter, so super easy to install and get going. Uh, the hardest part was literally getting the silicone hose on top of this little barb fitting because it was a very tight fit. So the really cool thing about this is this resin is reusable and is color changing. You can see after a few days, it's already starting to change a little bit purple, which means that's absorbed the moisture. So I ha really have no idea how long this will last. It'd be nice if I can get a month out of it, but looking at this, I might only get a week or two. But so what this is going to do, absorb any moisture coming in the air, which is going to make my ozone more efficient and increase longevity of the ozone generator. So we'll see how long this lasts. Um, if it's used up too quickly, maybe I'll have to look at getting a bigger unit. But so far, so good. For 20 bucks, figure it's worth a try. Now let's get installed on the tank. This part has to be about the easiest installation ever. Um, if you look on here, there is a direction of flow, which shows the air flows this way. So we want to make sure this is our output. I'm um, still figuring out how to mount it. I made a 3D printer, mix, even zap strap it. Figure out some little mount just to go on the bar here. And we take this and we hook it up to our intake. So we look on the bottom, we got our other hole. It doesn't really matter which one's the intake and outtake on the ozone generator, as long as it flows through, there's all that really matters. So just like that, that literally is the extent of installing it. it took two seconds. And then we'll have to mount this now, because it did change a little fast. It's probably because this is sitting inside my stand. So I'm likely gonna find a way to make a little hose go a bit further away from the stand so it'll be less moisture and it should make the resin last a bit longer. So we'll set that there for now. Um, I'm gonna work on making some kind of mount and I'll, let's jump over to the Apex and I'll show you guys how the ozone's been doing. So let's take a look at what the ozone's actually doing. And to do that, we're gonna take a look at the ORP. So you click on the ORP. Uh, the biggest thing you can obviously notice right off the bat is every day the orb is getting a little bit higher, a little bit higher, which means overall my water is getting cleaner and cleaner. Now, I did have it set to turn off at 350, so that's part of the Apex programming, so if it hits 350, it'll turn off. I previously had it running for three hours a night. I recently upped it to four hours a night, but keep in mind I'm also running it at probably about 15 to 20 milligrams per hour on about 100, 120 gallon tank. So. I've said it a few times, but I just want to emphasize less is more with ozone. Now, if you look at the bottom of the valley, so, you know, a few days ago it was 284, then 291, 296, 298, 307. Now, I do feed fairly heavy, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind, 314. So it does raise your orb value over time, which is a good thing for the tank. Now, one thing I do want to note is to show you guys the Apex programming quickly. Um, so fall back off, set off, so time, so 12.30 to 4.30 in the morning, then on, and if orb ever goes above 3.50, then off. Now if you guys do want to check out the air dryer, which is supposed to make it more efficient, we'll find out if there's any difference. I don't know if I'll see anything here, but I know it's supposed to make your ozone generator last longer. But I will drop an Amazon link below, and for 20 bucks, I figure it's worth a go. If you guys do want to try it and support the channel, be sure to grab it through my Amazon link below. Otherwise, just looking at the orp, you can kind of see where it hits 252, then it drops down because the apex turned off that port. And then once it's below, it turned back on, shuts it off, and kind of bounced around until around here, it should be around 430. There you go, it shuts it off and it drops for the night. Now let's go take a look at the tank, just check out a few of the benefits. Now the biggest benefit by far is the water clarity. Like it's absolutely crystal clear, even if you look at the long end of the tank, you can see like how easy and crystal clear you can see the wave makers at the back of the tank and everything is just ultra clarity. There's as far as you can see. If I didn't have the black vinyl in the tank, it would just be like the fish are floating in air. So the clarity is definitely the biggest thing. 
The other nice thing is it gets rid of any of the odors, so I don't really have any fishy smells from the tank, and that's another big one for me, because I don't want to smell anything oceany in my house. I just want things to look good. So, for me, it's kind of a huge benefit. And as always, less is more. Do not overdo it, because you can do some damage to your fish and health of other things if your orp raises too high and you run too much ozone. So, less is more, but there's definitely some great advantages. Now, if you guys do want to check out the air dryer I got, I mean, 20 bucks off Amazon. I'll drop my Amazon link in the comments below if you guys want to pick one up and support the channel. Otherwise, as always, any questions, let me know. And be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe. And if you guys have not done so yet, I think I got about seven or eight entries so far to win that Vertex Somatic Skimmer. So you got pretty dang good odds. If you guys aren't in yet, make sure you guys get that entries in and win yourself a sweet prize.